Listen up gamers and gamettes, today we're diving back into my epic journey of game design in Unreal Engine 5. It's been a hot minute since we last touched base, but fear not, because I'm back and ready to make my game go from zero to... Yeah. And if you're new here, welcome to the circus. I'm Josh and <laughs> I'm basically an arsehole. Now picture this, a game that was once a hot mess, but with my god-given talents and a whole lot of sweat and tears, it's transformed into an absolute masterpiece. That's right folks, I'm talking about my Baldi's Basics remake and turning it from this to this. Are you excited yet? You should be. Now, before we go any further... Um, like the video and subscribe for 10 years, good luck. So first on the agenda today was to make a roof. Now <laughs> you're probably thinking, that's just like a big rectangle, right? Can't be that hard, Josh. Maybe I should unsubscribe because you're an idiot. Uh, firstly, fuck off. Secondly, yeah, it is just a rectangle, but that opens up a whole new can of worms with lighting, and I, I don't even want to go into how long I spent on that. Don't make me- no, no, please, I don't- please, please, I don't know! I added lights, about 300 of them, all using Lumen, aka mm, fake ray tracing, and let me tell you, those lights killed the frame rate. Like, dead in the mud. Told you this would be a pain in the ass. But I soldiered on, through the searing heat my computer was spewing out, making under my desk feel like the surface of the fucking sun. And I kept coding. So, for added ambiance, I made a blueprint for the lights, where once has key is true, aka once you've got an answer wrong, the lights all go bright red. The statement I made is called Haskey, and it's set to true once you get a question wrong. Unlocking all the doors. Now this relied on over 300 lights, all using a tick command. In English, that's over 18,000 instructions a second from the lights alone. But upon realising that I actually wanted a playable game, I deleted all of these shitty little point lights that emitted about one candela of light, and instead decided to switch them out for fancy rectangle lights. But then I accidentally added a bunch of normal rectangles lights instead of the ones that turn red. For fuck's sake! And so I had to delete everything I'd done and add them back again, which was fun. And after that nightmare of an afternoon, I decided to focus on post-processing and put fog into the world to give the game extra ambiance. Now, with the game really starting to come together, I started on the animation for Evil Baldi and I attempted, emphasis on attempted, to make good Baldi's head follow you as you move. Just because creepy. Although I realised I was kinda out of my depth with that stuff. And when I say kinda out of my depth, I mean I had no fucking clue what was going on. So, that's on the back burner for the next video. Then, I started creating different biomes, I guess you could call them. Like, we've got this abandoned area here, we've got what I like to call the Alley of Tables. While I was making these, I also turned Motion Blur off, just <laughs> because it was pissing me off. And lastly, I made the Hall of Tables better, made a toxic warehouse area, and added a bunch more post-processing. You know, like making the colour a bit warmer when you go in the Hall of Tables, or the Alley of Tables, or whatever I called it, and added some chromatic aberration when you go in the toxic warehouse to kind of, well, I guess, show the toxicity. And that is, I think, all of it. There is still some things I need to do, obviously, and I'll go ahead and put them in the description. And as always, any ideas any of you have are massively appreciated and I will try and add as many of them as possible into the game if they fit it and if I can actually conceivably do it, that is. No, I can't add General Tager's feet. Stop asking. And if this goes well, then who knows? I've been thinking up some ideas for a multiplayer version, just not too sure how it would work. Yet. Also, if you wanted a little more explanation on specific things I've coded, just drop me a comment and I'll try and explain the best I can. I mean, I'm a bit fucking incompetent, but... Anyway, I'll let you go now, everyone. Till the next video.